When the Lawrence S. Rockefeller Preserve opened in Grand Teton National Park in 2008, 1,106 acres of land was released for public use for the first time in more than a century. Today, the LSR is one of the most visited areas in the park, with miles of hiking trails leading to scenic Phelps Lake. What is most significant about the LSR isn't necessarily the hiking trails and scenic lake that you find today, but what you can't find anymore. This was the site of the JY Ranch, Jackson Hole's first dude ranch. The area was first homesteaded in 1903 by David Spaulding, who claimed 160 acres at the mouth of Phelps Lake. Later he sold to Lewis Joy under the agreement Spaulding could live out his days at the ranch and be buried there. Joy acquiesced, and true to his words, Spaulding's grave can be found along the side of the trail today. In the summer of 1908, Joy would host the first five dudes to arrive in the valley, and spent the next decade growing a successful ranch. Seeking to retire in 1920, Joy sold the ranch to Henry Stewart. By 1927, Stewart had grown the JY to become the largest dude ranch in the valley. In 1932, Stewart sold the ranch to John D. Rockefeller Jr. and the Snake River Land Company. The listing included a farm, a homestead, and 20 dude cabins. When John D. Rockefeller Jr. donated the Snake River Land Company's holdings to Grand Teton National Park in 1941, he kept the JY Ranch as a private retreat for his family. Over the next several decades, the Rockefellers continued to visit the JY during the summer. Following in his father's footsteps in 2001, Lawrence S. Rockefeller donated the JY Ranch lands to Grand Teton National Park. When the last parcel was transferred, the donations totaled more than 3,000 acres. The original ranch buildings have been moved to different locations. Some were given to Grand Teton National Park and are still in use today.